got like an eye leaking situation. Oh, no. Hold on. That's okay. I need some water anyway. Some sort of reaction to my hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to Christmas. Oh no. <laughs> I'm Judy. I'm Jenna. And this is Snack That. Yeah. And it's Christmas time, baby. Christmas! Yeah! Um, we have a lot. Too many. Many Christmas snacks. Too many Christmas snacks. Yeah. They are loosely organized by flavor profile ish. Sure. Yeah. Um, we're definitely going to save the plethora of mint chocolate things for last. Because it's like half the items. It's like half of them. Yeah. Um, all right. I don't have any witty holiday banter. Oh, well, I was just gonna say, let's see if any of these snacks belong on the naughty list. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> I like that. Let's start the, with kind of a simple one, I guess. I Because I don't have high expectations. These are um, sugar cookie oh. M&Ms. Okay. Um, they, I didn't actually notice, I didn't even look at the package, I just saw the word sugar cookie and grabbed them. Yeah. They're white chocolate mm. M&Ms. What? And I mean, does that I look like that cookie sense. dough inside of them? Oh, it does. Okay, we actually don't know what we've gotten ourselves into already. Thrilled. All right. Uh, so? Let's uh, dive in. I wanted to inspect it. So. That was smart. Mmm. Okay, first off, it tastes like sugar cookies. It really does. It really, really does. Because I think it is just a little tiny ball of baked cookie coated in white chocolate yeah it's, it's a crunchy little bit of cookie yeah i i think some could argue that this is borderline no longer an m&m Ooh, yeah i could see that argument like what call like there's no strong chocolate it's just that the shell yeah i yeah just the candy coating over cho chocolate with a filling so okay so a peanut m&m even though that is a peanut inside of chocolate inside of candy coating I still consider an M&M. Yeah. I guess because the chocolate. Mm-hmm. But once you put it the chocolate with white chocolate and the filling is a cookie, this is just a mini coated cookie. It is. It totally They're is. really good, though. I, I, For someone who doesn't like white chocolate, mm. this is really tasty. Yeah, they're really, really good. Wow, M&Ms. Okay. I wasn't expecting to like those at all. Me neither. Okay. What a strong start. Yeah, That's great right. start. Um, oh boy, I, you guys know, if you know, you know, I'm so excited. I've had this bag unopened waiting for us to film this episode for like at least a month. Mm. Uh, the willpower it took to not open it. I, for anyone who watched the, um, Falls of Flavor episode, have gone through Flavors of Fall. <laughs> Flavors of Falls. It's a Falls of Flavor. Next year. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, amazing. Um, I bought three bags after we filmed, like, of the caramel apple popcorn, and I just finished the last one because it is no longer on shelves. I I, bu I, bu I think I bought two extra bags after we yeah. did that as well. Um, and I just, just finished the last bag the other night. I was... Um, feeling sad and had insomnia so I just got popcorn all over the couch the answer I hate all the popcorn oh. so god bless it I am so excited for this my hopes are high very high and smart food has not let us down no. yet so no. that's true mm, it is clearly coated in snickerdoodle seasonings that smells like a snickerdoodle it really does yeah. cinnamon but like sugary a little vanilla sugar, yeah okay. boy Mmm. Smart food. So good. I'm in love with you. Mmm. Yeah. The cinnamon isn't like too strong. No. It's quite buttery. I was gonna say that's what brings home the cookie taste, I think, is the, the buttery Butter. flavor that works so well on popcorn, mm. obviously. Oh my god, it's so good. But it it's not overwhelming, it's not mm -hmm. cloying. No. Like I could eat this entire It's bag. not too sweet for sure. In one sitting. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good. Smart food, you've done it again. You really have. <laughs> mm. 
All right. Winner, winner. So our last sugar cookie, snickerdoodle cookie flavored thing is a uh, limited edition. I'm sorry, the back of this box. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Didn't even notice. <laughs> so cute. Is this our new co-host? Oh my God, yes. Shove. <laughs> <laughs> um, amazing. So okay, sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, sugar cookie toast crunch. I love. Okay, I love cinnamon toast crunch. This is sugar. I'm assuming there's no cinnamon flavor on here because otherwise, I literally don't know how it's going to be different. different. Right. Yeah. Um, what are we expecting then? Sugar cookie, maybe just like kind of vanilla flavors, Fro frosting -y? I mean, it doesn't. Yeah. It's not frosted. But. I feel like they're not going to get away from the cinnamon though. There's going to be like a little bit. A little but bit. I'm curious to see how different. Yeah. I love cinnamon toast crunch though. Mm, and uh, right. Mm, it does look. Oh, that does smell very like, vanilla. Oh, it does smell vanilla y. And some of the flakes have like a lot of coating on them. It does actually almost look like frosting. Mmm. Okay. So well, you were right. There's no. No cinnamon. Cinnamon. Mmm. It's actually not as sweet as regular cinnamon toast crunch, which is kind of funny. Because you it, think it would be just like... When you see it up close, it's just coated in these little, like, sugar frosting. It must be some, like, vanilla flavoring mm. in that coating. They're good. Mm. It's this subtle. very good. It doesn't, like... Like, if I close my eyes and threw this in my mouth, I wouldn't be like, ooh, it's a sugar cookie. Yeah. But I do love it. I love it, too. But it still has that distinct texture and flavor of uh, cinnamon touch. Right. <laughs> touch crust. Mmm, my favorite snack, cinnamon crunch, wait, cinnamon toast, what did you just say? Tunch crunch. Tunch crunch. <laughs> okay. I don't even know at what point I was trying to make, let's move on. <laughs> it's good. It feels like it in your mouth. You know it's not a sugar cookie because it's just yeah. too similar. Yeah. But it's delicious with that said. It's really good. Usually the like, mm, most mild sort of holiday flavor yeah. of the three things we've had so far. Oh boy. Okay. Moving into the, the weird and wonderful or? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Let's do it. I, Cook train. <laughs> all right, please excuse this. I, <laughs> listen, I didn't buy them like this. I, I accidentally punched through the wrapper too hard. I broke one in half with my strong hands. Wow. I know. Okay, Oreo candy canes. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd never seen these before. Never heard of them before. Never heard of such a thing, but... We were alerted via Instagram of the mm -hmm. existence of these. Thank you, Carly. I, um, I don't know. I love, obviously, like, <coughs> cookie and cream flavor. Can't go wrong, but mm -hmm. in a hard candy, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Nor do I. I can split this one. I busted. Oh, boy. Perfect. Um, also... Eating a candy cane on camera was a very bold choice of us. Well, now that you see, <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. It tastes a little bit like it. Mm, okay. So there's those weird, the weird dinner mints at restaurants, but sometimes they have the chocolate mint ones, mm -hmm. and the chocolate tastes nothing like chocolate, but they're weirdly good anyways. That's what this tastes like. That's what this tastes like. I was gonna say the first flavor I hit in my mouth is chocolate. Yeah, but it's not like it's not Oreo cho chocolate. It's not real chocolate. And it's not chocolate chocolate. But it's somehow chocolate. Yeah. It's chocolate the way a chocolate candle smells like chocolate. Oh my god. That's <laughs> dead on, you guys. So I would right. This was fun. I'm happy we tried them. I will never buy these again. No. If you love Oreos, don't rush out and buy Oreo candy canes. Not an Oreo. Not but an Oreo. Like a solid chocolate candy. Son of a nutcracker. Okay. It's a solid chocolate candy cane. Yeah. Yeah. But on that note, should candy canes be chocolate flavored? Nah. Let's not even dive into the the wild flavors that exist for candy canes. Cause True. Yikes. There are a lot. As I was think, I was contemplating this package, I realized like the stack that candy cane flavors could have just been its own episode. Oh yeah. So. Um, yeah, I, mm, I wouldn't rush out for those, yeah. but it was fun to try. No, definitely. Other weird, well, might as well just, you yeah, know, just keep, yeah. Might as well just stay weird. Um, I'm, are there, is there such thing as like, is it like Jelly Belly families and like people who don't grow up eating jelly beans? 
probably. Is that like but a thing? I grew up eating jelly beans yeah. via my grandfather, so. Yeah, jelly beans are like the candy of my family. So, and I've never even heard of these. I think they've probably no. done them a couple years, but I'd never seen or heard of this before. I actually found them on accident. Nice. I'm very excited for these. So it is um, holiday favorites. Okay. And it's eggnog, candy cane, pumpkin pie, cranberry sauce, and hot chocolate. Um, I guess we have to try them we all. We have huh? to try them we all. We have to try them all. We're going to make a meal of it. <laughs> um, I think they're just mm -hmm. in order. Mm, nope. nope. Oh, oh, wait. I flicked around. the box. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, did you or did they? they well, did. good point. Um, so there they all are in their little... Anyway. Okay. It's perfect. So... Uh, Where are you going to start? I don't know. Um, I still kind of got chocolate in my mouth. So, you so was, hot chocolate? Yeah. Good call. They don't, jelly, jelly beans don't yeah, smell. Yeah, <laughs> Same vibe, like. That tastes slightly more like a cup of hot cocoa though. It really does. Oh. In the way that like hot chocolate flavored things have like a milky creaminess to them. Mm -hmm. But it is still like a pretty like synthetic chocolate flavor. Yeah, not a true yeah. chocolate flavor. That's good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Fine. I'm not excited for this. I, Next one. Are, do you not like eggnog? I don't like Me eggnog. Me either. Yay. Never knew. Mm. It's hard to find people who don't like eggnog, and I feel like we are judged harshly for it. We are. Um, I'm not excited for this either. I will say, in the world of eggnog, the, there's a, the things I dislike about it aren't necessarily involved with the spices used. So if this is the spices of eggnog, great. I might like it, yeah. But, okay, we'll see. Uh -huh. If you like eggnog, you will love that. No. And if you hate eggnog, you will hate it. It's almost. Well, I'm. I. I mean, you made it through. You're a better woman than me. It's almost bubble gummy. It. The the nutmeg flavor was very strong. A lot of nutmeg. Don't. And I know I, I like love nutmeg. nutmeg, but something about the combo here. Yeah, it was. And in most eggnogs. Um, yeah, I did not love that. Nope. Um, pumpkin pie I'm excited for. This just seems like a weird jelly bean flavor. It does. Can't wait. I'm not getting anything yet. <laughs> Doesn't taste anything like pumpkin pie, but it tastes like Pez, and I love Pez. <laughs> That's what it is. That's the flavor. That is, that is not be a slice of pumpkin further pie. Further from pumpkin, pumpkin pie. It's like they tried to make pumpkin pie, but they're like, let's not do pumpkin spice. So they took all the spices out. That is weird. It just tastes like Pez. It tastes like, like Pez. Like sugar specific Pez. Like, and like fruity, but like indiscernible fruit flavor. How odd. Very weird. Okay. Very weird choices. I do actually expect more of you, Jelly Belly, so. Ooh. Well, the okay. candy cane, I, I mean, can you go can wrong? You can you mess up? mess up pumpkin or Let's peppermint? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> was... We have not had anything to drink. <laughs> we this is just... shockingly have not. You delivered such a beautiful Let's Find Out, too, and I just ruined it. <laughs> Putting you to the test. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Candy cane. That's a candy cane. Peppermint oh, tea. That Make cooling mint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, mm. since they did the flavor so well, can I complain about something else? Yeah. Why on earth would you make this a pink? I don't know. With white or with red and green speckles. Yes. Why wouldn't you make it a white jelly bean? With red speckles. With red speckles. Exactly. That's what I, I would have expected. Uh, <laughs> just, I mean, it did taste good though, I guess. All right. The cranberry sauce one I think is going to be good. Another, how can you really mess this one up? I, how it's can you really mess this one up? Flavor. Yeah. Cranberry. Yep. Okay. Mmm. That's really good. Ooh. That's my favorite one. That's mm. my favorite one, too. And then at the end, there's a little tart. That's good. I think it's gonna work. Mm hmm. Yeah, that one's really good. Okay. Of the holiday favorites, if you can get a box of just the cranberry sauce flavor, unless you like eggnog. That's the holiday favorite for us. Easy. 
It was a fun experience, though. I'm that was. Did it. I refuse to do those, like, bean boozled things. Oh, no. Absolutely refuse. I, I do as well. Um, so trying <laughs> odd but knowable flavors of jelly beans is about as far as I'm going to get. That's where I draw the line, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited for these. Me too. Actually. This sounds great. They sound good. So I know, generally speaking, we are both Milano fans. Yes. Um, we had a we had an interesting disagreement in the pumpkin spice episode in that you thought they were disgusting. <laughs> and I'm not disagreeing with you because they might have been, but my problem was I couldn't taste the pumpkin spice at all. So instead they just kind of tasted like regular Milanos See, to me. I didn't think it tastes like a regular Milano and, though. And you're not alone because okay. Robert tried them and he also said that they are awful. It is an awful a, combination. A weirdness, a weird funk to it. Yeah. So I don't know what my deal was that day, but here's the thing. Amaretto hot cocoa. I think these are gonna be great. Me too. This is it's not straying far from the classic yeah. Milano, so And I don't feel like like fine, we did an experiment, they did an experiment with pumpkin spice combined with chocolate. Does not work. But amaretto and chocolate obviously go together. Yep. So yeah. I'm not worried. <laughs> okay. It smells yeah. like hot cocoa. That does. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, the amaretto. So good. This is a delicious Milano. Oh That's no, this might be my creamy. favorite Milano. <clears throat> and they're limited edition. So stock up? Yeah. Just fill that bathtub full. Good. So good. Just get a bathtub full of cookies. Yeah. Oh, this is very good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It just gets better. It's, it's it delivers literally exactly what you are expecting it yeah. to. Yeah, you're getting that like dark chocolate and then the creaminess of the amaretto mm -hmm. cocoa vibe. Mm hmm. Mm. Big thumbs up mm -hmm. on those bad boys. Sticking with hot chocolate, we have <laughs> some Hostess Donettis. Uh, limited edition. It says hot cocoa and marshmallow. So I'm hoping for a a light chocolate donut and a marshmallow frosting. I think that's what it's gonna be. I All right. right. Okay. Uh, I'm skeptical. If it does that, taste like. <laughs> I'm mostly just afraid mm -hmm. that the the icing isn't gonna be marshmallow as much as just like sugar icing. Sh yeah, exactly. When it could be marshmallow and it'd be really good if it was. I'm, that donutty smell. Yeah. I'm just gonna call it Donettis. I know. I'm sorry. Now. Never again will I pronounce I, it another I way. I cannot pronounce them any other way. I think it's a, a problem. Like once you've said it, yeah. You're, well, you're and here's the yourself. thing: donuts, don't donut, donut, don't. How are they want us to say this word? Which I'm assuming is just a cute way of spelling donut yeah. to imply that they're small, but not verbally, just mm -hmm. visually. Yeah, is boring. But also, say, you guys, everyone at home with me one time, say Donetti's. Way more fun. Come on. Yeah. And again, I curse, I blame Doug Benson. I listen to too many podcasts. There is a, he brings up donuts a lot on that podcast, and he says Donetti's a lot. So, he is to blame. All right. Does this taste like anything at all to you? <laughs> I'm going to ask you the same thing. I'm, wait, what? I I don't understand why not even the donut tastes like chocolate. Not even, no. Like, they make chocolate donuts. It's like they tried to water down cocoa so much. That yeah. It just... And as predicted, the fr the icing is just like icing. It's not It's not like a mel melted marshmallow, no. Yeah, this is just like eating somewhat flavorless sugar. <laughs> it's not great. I mean... It's edible, you know? Yeah. If you're, it's not bad. It's not gross. No, 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 yeah. But, I mean, why not just buy, like, if you want a chocolate donut, just buy the chocolate ones, because they're more chocolatey yeah, than this. Yeah. yeah. That fudge coating. Oh, mm -hmm. man. And if you want a hot cocoa treat, that Milano. Yeah, the Milano, the Milano is yeah. so good. Um, all right, this is our last thing before we delve into the wild world of mint chocolate mm. holiday combo. All right. Oh. So I didn't even know that these were a thing until we started doing this show. Okay. And you become, we have become the sounding board for 
everyone's snack opinions. This is true. Which is fine. No, I'm not complaining. Literally why we're doing this. Yes. Because we want that. That said, I didn't know that um, the Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes even existed. Wow. Um, people are passionate about these. Yes. Yeah. As with, well, I think Little Debbie snacks have, each snack has their own kind of like cult following. I, I, I believe that's true. Yeah. yeah. But there are like people who maybe only buy Little Debbie once a year and it's these boys. These. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> and you know, I'm going to say after last week's episode with the chocolate cupcakes mm -hmm. and our Little Debbie episode in general, I have very high expectations. I do too. These are very big. <laughs> they are. Okay. Right. First off, they are precious. So cute. Um, yeah, the white fudge, the decorations are super cute. Just like the gingerbread man, so cute. Yeah. Um, they smell good. They smell super like fud like white fudgy. Cakey, yeah. Icing. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm excited. I see why people wait all year for these. I get it. Yeah. That's tasty. I love the crunch that the sugar crystals on top add. It needs it. It does need it. I like it. And then mm -hmm. the frosting that in the in between, because it's like a layer cake, mm -hmm. um, is so rich and like creamy, but like soft and cloudy and pillowy. That yeah, you definitely need that sugar crunch. Yeah, it's just very mild vanilla flavor, mm -hmm. but it's also creamy and tasty. They're surprisingly not as sweet as I was expecting. No, the sweetest part say... is the fudge coating on the outside. Yeah. Mmm. I'm gonna finish you later. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good. You guys, we get it. <clears throat> yep. If we weren't converts already, which we were, we are now. I mean, yeah. All right, we have six mint chocolate combos here. Something about Christmas and mint. There really is. All right. Um, I I don't. Is this a new? The slices. Is this like a new oh, thing? I've never seen these before. I've never had one. Um, they look great though. So Milano cookie on the bottom, chocolate layer, and um, cookie cane cane. Co we cannot say candy cane. I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> Candy cane crumbles. Yes. Yes. All right. There mm. go. Mm. Yeah, so it's literally half a Milano. Yeah. Half a Milano. Yeah. Cool. All right. Try it. That's really nice. Yeah. I. It's good. I think what makes Milano's magical is the it's the exact right amount of cookie. Yeah. So when you take away one of the cookie halves it's too it's not enough cookie it's a lot of chocolate <clears throat> mm -hmm. the candy cane bits though are surprisingly airy they're like easy to crunch yeah they're not, they're not hard no. hard on your teeth at all mm -mm. so that's fine mm -hmm. that is nice that's good yeah i wouldn't rush out to buy them again but no i'd be buying not <laughs> yeah yeah for sure yeah the cookie the cookie ratio is a little off for me but the flavor is very nice Okay. Um, so this is Target brand. Back in the house again with the uh, yeah truffle cookie. So, <clears throat> again, if anyone watched Flavors of Fall, <laughs> and we ate some maple cookies from Target, yep. literally, they were like, we already have the chocolate mold out, <laughs> let's keep going. This is, down to the image on the chocolate, the exact same cookie, oh my God. but with mint filling instead of maple filling. Okay. So I think they'll be good because I think it, those cookies, like the cookie part of that cookie was good and yeah. the chocolate was really good milk chocolate. Yeah. Um, we were both disappointed that it tasted more like car no, not disappointed because they were very good, but they it tastes like caramel, not maple. Exactly. Um, if this is like that gooey mint that's like in a York peppermint patty. Ooh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. Mm. I mean, that's what the picture makes you believe, so. It's true. All right. Okay. There we go. Are these very minty? I can't believe I was about to say the same thing. Is that mint? Yeah, but it is. Subtle. Again, 
And it's it is that good, delicious, creamy not... mint, but that mint is not minty enough at all. No, not even a little bit. It's there. But the fact that this, like, plain cookie is overpowering, like, I can taste the cookie more than I can taste the mint. How can that be? Mint is so strong. I'm trying to, like, isolate some cream. Yeah, no. That's a, a whisper of mint. That is really such a shame. <clears throat> like, maybe they were afraid of it being too aggressive? I don't really know. What? How do you end up here? Also, oh. who is ever mad that something's too minty? Like, if you like that flavor, if you're, like... Oh, I love Christmas because everything is chocolate mint flavored. You're not mad that something's too minty. No. Weird. Um, really, again, unfortunate because it is a good cookie overall. Really disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys, I think I'm starting to learn a lesson about buying things from certain parts of the Target yeah, bakery. Target. So next up, dark <sighs> chocolate covered minty mallows. Mm, so I Cute. love Trader Joe's chocolate covered marshmallows. I buy them a lot. I've never had them. Really? <laughs> I love them. Uh -oh. So they have them year round, okay. but the mint oh. marshmallow is seasonal. Okay. Uh, it's limited edition. Um, I could have sworn that said it, it said it on here somewhere. Anyway. I mean, it looks it. I mean, it's very Christmassy. Um, yeah, so they have plain ones all year round. But, uh, Are the plain ones dark chocolate as well? I think you can get dark or milk oh, chocolate. Oh, they have both. Mm -hmm. These only came in dark chocolate, though. Um, yeah. Oh, it's like split. Yeah, they're <laughs> never in one piece, ever. Oh, okay. I've never pulled one out, and it was pristine. I like that. Um, yeah, yeah. The marshmallows are good. Mm. That's fun to bite into. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess you've never had I've one never before. I've never had one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Minty. Uh, yeah. Mm. After that last disappointment. That's good. They're really good. And it's a joy to eat as someone who's never experienced this before. Yes. What I think is fun is like, because the chocolate coating is hard, right? Yeah. Slightly. And the marshmallow is soft. So when you put it in your mouth, even before you bite, just moving around in your mouth, you like can hear all these little crackles of like the chocolate breaking. Yeah. It's very satisfying. It is. It was tasty. And bouncy. I'm very and yeah, they happy taste so to good. have tried this. Get them happy. You love them. Uh, yeah, the mint, the mint in there is really <clears throat> good. I actually, it's perfect. I might like these more than the not. Like the regular ones that they carry around. It kind of reminds me of like an Andy's mint kind yes, of situation. Yes, it does. Yeah, which I love. Yeah, me too. All <laughs> right. Contentious item coming up. I'm excited. Okay. Moment of truth. <laughs> so, again, revisiting past episodes, um, the JoJo's regular, plain, straightforward chocolate sandwich cookie, JoJo's, did not fare well no. in our blind taste test. No! <laughs> All right. So the what? first one we tried, JoJo's. That was the joke. And it was eye-opening for me. Jenna questioned, because I opened, before we even started filming that day, I was like, oh, JoJo's aren't good. But. I learned a hard lesson. I also, for years, have been saying that the candy cane JoJo's are amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> and the reason why I was saying that was because it's a really, really good combo, and they did it before Oreo. Oh, I man. So I took a deep, deep dive, because we had a long conversation about this. A we lot did. of people doubted that there was any way that Trader Joe's beat Oreo to such an obvious, obvious Christmas flavor. Yeah, yeah. flavor combo. Um, I did the amount of digging. I mean, you guys, I should be a private detective. <laughs> um... I, it's easy to find when Oreos debuted them because yeah. people catalog that stuff really well. Like the Oreo, like the Oreo the Wiki. Wikipedia yeah, page yeah. tells you exactly what year. So 2009 was the first year that Oreo made peppermint bark Oreos and they don't make them every year. I didn't That's know the that other either. thing. 
um, JoJo's does have them every year. And after my deep dive, I found a Facebook group oh my God. called what? Trader Joe's Candy Cane JoJo's fan page. It's a very, very exclusive niche. club. <laughs> I like it. And the oldest post I could find in that group, the very first post okay. ever posted, yeah. was from 2008. And that post read, they're back. Which means oh. they came around in at least 2007, yeah. if not before. So, that said, the reason why I love Candy Cane JoJo's, even though I do think regular JoJo's are not amazing, is that there are some years where jo Trader Joe's is the only place you can get this cookie. And it's an iconic combo. Why yeah. wouldn't you want it? Unbelievable. That is my very long-winded story. No, it's, about it's interesting because you would never know. Um, yeah. I am excited. Here we go. Because I love them. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> How did you get out of that so clean? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So, I think the ways in which a regular JoJo falls short mm -hmm. is hidden by the strong peppermint flavor. I think you're right. In these. It just takes over flavor-wise yeah. in a good way. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Um, and the merits of a JoJo, like the texture of the cream and the crunch of the cookie, still exist outside of the peppermint flavor. Yeah. So they're just they're good. They're good. <laughs> they're good. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Done. They're good. That like crunch you get from the candy cane bits, I love it. I love you can't. I couldn't imagine it just being like a smooth cream. No, you mean? have you have to have the candy cane bits, and yeah. it's a different crunch than the cookie. Like the cookie is like a crumbly yeah. crunch, mm -hmm. and the candy cane crunch is like a hard crunch. And hard, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. There's a lot of textures in this one little cookie. It's delicious. It's they're really good. It's delicious. 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 Cool boy. All right, our last and oh, most <clears throat> sacred item um a very big thank you to a snack that fan yes uh tracy for finding these because thank you, tracy. collectively jenna and i went to countless grocery stores I, I, it's embarrassing almost i mean I shouldn't say <laughs> we shouldn't if you guys knew how hard we had to work to not end up finding these it'd be embarrassing and then one day here they were. We got a box. Uh, mint chocolate Twinkies. Oh boy. Expectations are high. Very high. Um, and I don't, I think we'll, I think we'll deliver. I'm ready for this. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Yep. Yep. I like when, I like the Twinkie. I mean, I like a classy Twinkie. Mm -hmm. I like when Twinkie does chocolate cake. I think they do chocolate cake really well. Oh, it's so, so squishy. It is. Mm. That pillowy Twinkie. Yep. All right. Not a lot of mint flavor. Okay. <laughs> Which is crazy because... Break the news. Okay. First off... Are you trying to, like, the trick The wildest us? color. Yeah. Really, um... Kind of an unsettling green. It's a lot. I, what's wild is, so remember in the pumpkin spice episode, the pumpkin spice Twinkies were regular cake and pumpkin spice in the filling. Such and the filling cream. was amazing. It yeah. was so good. So I was expecting the same thing. Chocolate on the outside, mint filling. Yeah. But that filling, I mean, it, I'm dead serious. I don't taste any mint. I taste, I mean... Earlier when you said something had a whisper of mint, this is like mint in sign language. <laughs> Sorry, that was very funny. Because it's there. I'm going to take a sip of water because I feel like I still have mint. Jojo from mint. The, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, again, it's tickle. It's hardly there. It's a good chocolate cake. I mean, yeah, it's still a Twinkie, you guys, but... But here's the thing. Hey, something way mintier? Way mintier. Oh, yeah. Because those are very minty. Wait, what? Yeah. 
Are I we... can still taste the mint that I ate it an hour and a half ago. We're being informed by producer Robert that these are actually very, very minty. So I it's have questions. Possible our taste buds have been blown out of the water by the strong we, mint flavor in the JoJo's. We have been eating six. We did eat. Different. Maybe we should have actually eaten. We'll revisit that, I guess. Yeah. Um, I think the clear winner today, okay. without a doubt, yeah. was those Milano Amaretto hot chocolate cookies. Yes. Right. Um, I'm, I mean, mm, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Top three. There's so many on the nice list. There is a lot of, okay. What's on the naughty list? Um, the Donettis. The Donettis. The, uh, tra uh, Target. The Target cookies. The Target cookies. And the half of the Jelly Bellies. <laughs> All but, I'd say. Flip it around. <laughs> I'd say three three quarters of the jelly bellies. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, I did not like the Oreo candy canes. Yeah, I wasn't wild about yeah. them. I liked these more than I liked the Oreo candy canes, just because, again, barring the fact that you're expecting a certain flavor, the rest of this cookie is really good. Yeah, they should true. just try, try, try They should just stop trying to sell us on flavors and just make like. Just this chocolate top cookie. on that cookie. Yeah. Agreed. It'd be good. I'd eat it. Try it. Um, but I think that my hesitation because right. I am so deeply in love with this as well. Uh, just just you pulling the bag towards me got a waft <laughs> of like spicy scents in my nose. It's the most snickerdoodle smelling non-snickerdoodle. Yeah, it is. It's really good. Mm. So yeah. I'd, I'd say that, that, that these are definitely the, definitely the best two. Yeah. A lot of a lot of good things on the table though here. A lot of good things. Yeah, good time. Uh well, like, subscribe, and I guess happy holidays. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. You filthy animals. Ooh. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing up bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has